hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel tech blog in this video you will learn about how you can uh, get a user input using python so there are two ways to get a user input in the python program so let's understand them so topic of today is python program to take user input so the first method we are going to discuss is the input function itself let's take variable and now let's use input function enter a number and whatever the user enters that gets stored in var this is a variable now let's type let's print the var and also the type type is a function to get the type of where either it is string list int etc so let's print and execute this program you can see enter a number i enter 24 so 24 is a user input and you can see it is printed and this is of type string generally so whatever you get the input from the std in and towards your program it will be of string type so in, if you want to convert this to integer or float you can use type conversion int function so once you do this so you can see enter a number it says let me enter 24 and 24 is printed and you can see it's of type integer so let's look at another method for user input into a python program so that is for that you have to import sys and then using sys library you have to take the input let's take variable and sys dot stdin dot read line so this will allow you to read a string from the stdin and you can also print this where and you can also check the type type will generally be the string because it is from the stdin so we can enter we can ask the user to enter a message enter number let's use print enter number let's execute this you can see it it is asking for enter a number let's type 19 and you can see it's printed again and the type of the user input is of string so if you want to convert it again you can convert it using type conversion over here int of 0 let's re execute it let's enter 10 you can see the print value of var is 10 and the type is changed to type is changed to int so the same way you can use stdin like you can say this can be rechanged let's say open 0 dot read line so this is same as the old one open the stdin 0 stands for stdin and you are reading a line from there so this is another version of stdin let's execute it and see what is the result here it says enter a number let's type 18 so we can see see that 18 is printed and it is of type string so we have not applied any type conversion here we can also do that and here it goes and let's try to re execute it enter a number let's say 17 so here you can see it 17 gets printed and 
the type is int so these are the two two methods one is using the input function and another is std in dot read line function so these are the two methods to use to take the user input in python hope you like this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel bye